What's up guys, Bogley here again, uh, back with another video in Creativeverse. Uh, I've been getting some questions ever since the new update came out to how you wire some of this stuff up. I know one of the big ones was the timer. Um, so I'm going to quick go ahead and just kind of go through some of that sort of stuff and show you guys how it all is working. I forgot I had to actually manually open those. They automatically close though. Should. There they go. Yeah, added on a few things to this design over the other one, modified it a little bit, kind of trimmed down this mine shaft just a tiny bit to meet my mountainside. That's one reason why I made it so tall is because then you can just kind of cut it off. Actually, I want to show you guys a little bit better view of that later. So it just kind of cuts off the top of it there and meets the mountainside. So there's the rocket. We'll go ahead and we'll cycle through this just to get everything kind of all working and show you guys what it all sorts of does again. Doors open. Oh wait, I gotta actually wait a minute. Oh never mind, I don't. And fire. So that's what we're gonna be uh, really focusing on. I mean, it's only gonna be maybe a five, ten minute video thing. I think here, fifteen total. If I probably go through a lot of it, so I might. So there's the countdown, and the way that that works is actually, those ones down there, those are signs. So let me go ahead and open up this floor here, and I'll show you a little bit more of the inner workings. I don't get myself stuck here first. Let me just check something as well real quick, make sure my volumes are still good. Turn that up so you guys can make sure you guys can hear me. All right, so all my logic is back in here again. So shut that off. You'll see those cycle through. Actually, no, you won't. Why is that on? But it's not even showing. Oh, that's the playful corpse sign. So that one is the signs out there. All right, so here we go. I did not want to jump down here. No! Ugh, fail, I just destroyed that run. That lag, though. That lag! All right. So over in that corner, that's my, uh, my arc sign stuff. So you need a bunch of delays and a bunch of logic gates. That's gonna be your materials list. So you'll see these cut on. This one up here is the T minus. The bottom row is the timers. It goes one or five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that's the launch. Let me let it cycle back through and I'll give you one more look at it. Okay, can I reach it from back here? I can, sweet. Four. Three, two, one, and zero. I don't know why that one flashes there. I gotta look into that. But all right. So let me, let me, let me, let me cut all those out of here. <laughs> Make it a little bit easier at least. So the way that this is all going, it starts from left to right and it works its way on down through this room. This wall right here is the the hatch up top opening. Actually, I'll just run through all of this. It's going to be a whole lot easier. So, that switch comes in here. This setup is all for my doors. It's a... Signal comes in from the switch. Or that switch. Or that switch. Is what those top two do. It takes two switches, goes into the next or. Takes the other switch plus the previous or. And it goes down into an inverter. So these ones here are constantly off until, you know, but yeah, these are constantly off until the switch is flipped on. Once that happens, it sends a signal through. So that closes the doors. The signal is on. No, doors are open when they're on. It turns on the LED. Sorry, I'm confusing myself even here a little bit. So that'll then turn on my red LEDs. 
This one is constantly on and will turn off anytime you turn on any of the switches. So that is attached to my doors and my green LED. Constantly on until something is turned on, then they close. So that first switch also comes into here, which is just a series of delays at about a second apiece, and it loops down one side, back up the other side. So I've got three stages over there, so you need three sets. So six uh, delay gates. Because the signal literally travels down and then back up, you want the first one to be open first and closed last. So then these two go down into an OR gate, which then goes out to the first set of phasers. The second two go down into the second OR gate and out to the phasers. And then the last one, again, OR gate, out to phasers. That'll say it opens first, and then it has to wait for both of those to go off, both of those to go off before this last one shuts, which then tells the first one to close. So that's how you make a retracting anything with phasers, right there. Um, these are for... My lights out in the main room. When you turn off when you open up the hatch, they shut off. That's because of this little bit right here. It just pulls off of the first delay there to shut off the signal. And it pulls off of the last one there as well to turn it back on. And it goes into an inverter, which gives it the constant on signal until a switch is flipped. So from there, we go on to the, the second set. Which is... And, and that goes to all the lights and smokes and all that stuff down at the very bottom. Sorry, I know the phone's ringing. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So that goes down to all the smoke and everything down there once you flip the second switch. Because it is an and, so the first switch has to be flipped and it has to run its cycle. Then you have to have the second switch flipped as well. From there... I don't think it sends down to you, does it? No, it does not. So it just goes straight on over into this next AND. No, it does come down into this stuff. So it comes down to an OR gate, which... Where were you hooked in? Oh, you're also off of the second switch? No, off of the first switch. So the first switch starts this little clock. It just runs a constant loop of on and off, on and off, on and off. If you guys don't know how to do this one yet, check out one of my earlier videos. It's got it on there. Uh, it's very useful. I use it everywhere. I mean, I think there's two or three of them in this setup. I don't remember if I did that or managed to get it all off of this. So it's just an XOR looping back into a delay, back into itself. It goes around forever, constantly on off at whatever time interval you set the delay for. So from there, it... Oh, it's comes in off of this. That's where it comes in off of. So then it comes out to these guys, which gets divvied up a little bit. So it goes to an OR with the main. So once I flip that second switch, it overrides this clock and sends a con just a solid constant signal. For the second switch, it's a non-stop interval. So that's the flashing lights, I think, in here or up top or something. And then that goes out to the XOR, which then again does a, if the first switch is flipped, it's doing that. If the second switch is flipped, it's doing a solid. As well as, where's that coming off of? Because then that's the shutoff. Okay, that's coming off of there. So this is connected to the third switch. So this is the AND off of the third. So it's got to have the second, the first done, and then the third switch can get flipped, and that goes down to there, which then cuts that off, which is a solid signal turning it off. So it will literally shut off, because then both of them would be on at that given point. That's how you shut off the, I believe it's the yellow lights, the yellow LED lights on the walls there. So that's how those are on for so long, and then once you flip the next switch, they turn off. So I'll go through that once more. It's just a AND plus the last switch coming down to an XOR, which has whatever else set up of previous 
however you want it doing whatever blinking flashing solid on off however whatever go to an XOR because then when they're both constantly on that will be off uh, the next bit then is we come down here for a AND gate which is hooked in with the timer so once the last switch is then turned on this is then now sending a blinking signal through this. You can actually see it blinking, hopefully. Why is it not? Logic don't like to display for me. Because that should be going back and forth. No, the last switch isn't flipped. Switch this last. So now, you look right here. There you go. It's flipping true and false. Shut that back off because we're gonna want to see that stuff later. So that then goes into an OR gate with some stuff later on. Cause come on. That then goes out to my red LEDs. So that's how it blinks in the beginning of it. And then once it goes through all these delays and everything and it makes its way all the way to the end of the room, it then comes back on up here, from that guy way out there, to then send a solid signal out there. That's how the red then flashes for so long and then goes solid. Alright, I think we're into the fun bit here now. This is the timer, I believe. That's coming off the other switches. Alright. So from here, what was that one? What is that one? On to you. Oh, that's for the signs. Okay. So from here, we go up into a series of delays. And actually, you can even see right on there, it's a delay of one second. So that's how my time ring is all done, is it's literally just a series of delays again for one second. Literally just six of them, because you have the... 5 through 0. You have to count your 0. That's my 5 through 0. And then from there, it doubles onto these. So these are all XORs. Again, 6 of them. The first one sends just to the first signal there, because then that turns on. The second one sends to the first, which then turns that off, because that one is on. And then the second one coming onto it shuts it off. It then sends also to the second one, which turns that on. The third then goes to the second and the third, shutting the second off, turning the third on. The fourth one of these then go to the third and the fourth. Where did I do the fourth? Yeah, I did do the fourth up there. I don't know why. But to the fourth, shutting the third off, turning the fourth on. Then it passes on to this, that then turns that off, turns that on, that then turns that off, turns that on, you get it. Alright. So that is how all of that goes, because then this one is on, which they have to come down here into a AND gate. So otherwise, right now, if you just hook that straight into arc signs, what's going to happen is when you turn that switch off, you'll see it display the countdown again. So that'll work. That's how I did it the first time around. But I added on to it to make it so when you shut the switch off, there's nothing there. Because you would literally see that run again if you build that just as I explained it just now, when you shut it off. But right now, I have it, you shut it off, it all turns off. That is done through these. These are all AND gates, which are hooked up off of, I believe, the switch? Yeah. They come off of the switch. You could also have them come off of this AND gate up here. Because those are all, as soon as that turns off, it turns off anyway. Just however you want to do wiring. So those are all the AND gates for that. Which then, let me see where our... So that comes down. Okay, so this is the T minus clock. Oh, is that how I, okay, I know how I goofed 
that, I think, a little bit. Burn, one, two, three. I'll play around with that a little bit later. I think that's where my, my gap happened, was the fact of, I think I may have missed one or something there. That flash of my T minus. So that's the T minus stuff where it's literally just taking all of these signals, and as soon as anything has a signal, it passes one on to the T minus. But that's coming off of these XORs so that they do still shut off. Because you want that shut off feature, because the last one, which is you, comes on out into a different one. Actually, I think you even just go straight on out to the arc sign. Why is that not even showing a connection? What is going on with that thing? It is too far away, I can't see it. Uh, it does come out to here. It comes out to here and then out to the arc side, I think. I'm losing it. It's one of these guys. This this oh. This guy. So this guy's gotta go out to the dark side. Yeah. So Yeah, it looks about right. So those come down into these ands, then they get passed on to... I don't know, I'm probably spinning everybody around and confusing you guys as well. So these ands are from the switch and these, which then get passed on to the different arc signs. So timer one, this is timer one, it goes out to the first arc sign. It will then turn on on that time, it will then turn off on that time. You just literally hook them all up through an and with the switch. Uh, one of these though, the last one, whichever the last one is, since it only has one input with an XOR, or an OR, or however you want to do it, either one of those two will actually work. It just, it passes a solid signal on. That's all it does. It takes that signal and straight to the sign. two of them here because then it comes back on out and it bounces back into that other bit of logic that I was talking about before. So that is how my, my sign is wired up. I know I kind of babbled on there at the end. Wanted to give you guys a little bit more time looking at it if I didn't spin you around enough. Um, so again for the arc signs it's literally just comes right on down this way and then from one into one, two, or one into two one into two, one into two, one into two, one into two. And then from there you can go straight into the arc sign or into your AND gates hooked in with whatever switch you wanted to turn on. That will then say once that switch is turned off it stops displaying. From those then straight on into the signs. You do have to pull the signal for a constant signal for however long you want your T minus and then a launch if you're doing something like that you can get that to work with just a couple of OR gates and that's it hope you guys liked it I know it was a bit of a short quick one here I just kinda wanted to go over a little bit of the hooking things up if you guys still have any questions go ahead and leave some comments let me know I'll try and walk you through a little bit I can actually even just use this video as a visual um, I might kind of just use maybe even almost this screen right here so I can just kind of go to that last little bit of the video there I can point you as to what you need alright like comment subscribe leave whatever let me know what you're working on let me know what you're doing have a good one guys sorry I think I cut out there have a good one guys bye <laughs>